Mr. Speaker, thank you. Mr. Speaker, I just want to pretty much echo the sentiments of the Prime Minister with regards to celebrating a day um, to celebrate the excellence of Julian Alfred. I don't think on the days in question there was any one living in St. Lucia or any St. Lucian overseas that did not feel a sense of pride in the achievement and her accomplishment, Mr. Speaker. Uh, but, Mr. Speaker, I just want to mention two things that have, in terms of conversations that have come up with regards to the whole Julian Alfred um, situation, um, Mr. Speaker, and that is, one, there's been a lot of conversation with regards to the consistency of our flag, the color of our flag. I think a lot more needs to be done to ensure that whatever formal ceremony that the color of our flag is gotten right, Mr. Speaker, and also with regards to the playing of our national anthem. Um, I, have happened to, uh, I happen to be at a few um, school graduations along with the Minister of Education, and I was very happy to have heard him making a pronouncement that one of the things going forward he would like to see is that when the national anthem is being played at schools, the entire national anthem should be played and not just what we're used to when we go to um, um, various um, cultural um, functions. So I think these are things that we need to start taking seriously. I think it's, it was an opportunity to build the pride in all of us as St. Lucians. And I look forward to many other athletes and other St. Lucians in their respective fields making us proud. Um, there's just one disappointment, Mr. Speaker. I should, I should mention it, Mr. Speaker, and that is in all of the celebration, there was no formal invitation to the opposition with regards to celebrating <coughs> alongside um, the great achievement. So it just must have been, a, I don't know if it was an oversight, Mr. Speaker, but I think it's something that we should recognize in, in times like this. Everybody should, should, should be partaking at. On that note, I thank you, Mr. Speaker.